in the ember days of my last free summer. Here I lie, outside myself, watching the gross body eating a poor curry. Satisfied at what I have done, scared of what I have to do in my last free winter. That brief poem sounds strikingly modern to me, but it was written by Ben Johnson, the uh, playwright and, and poet contemporary of Shakespeare's. And he refers to Ember Days, and today is one, friends. And as you may know, Ember Days uh, were groups of days, three days uh, in each of the four seasons of the year. And originally they were uh, days of, of prayer and fasting that, that people would make the most of the gifts of nature. And they were tied to a sense of harvest and, and fruitfulness of living in relation to the land. And gradually they became particularly associated with, uh, with the, praying that the gifts of, of people in the church would be used in Christian service. And, and then, um, then uh, uh, particularly also for uh, prayer for those being ordained as priest or deacon. And ordinations in the Christian church still gather around Ember Days. I'm taking such a service this Saturday over at the wonderful uh, Eddington Priory. And so these days, Ember Days uh, in the Christian church now are particularly for uh, that purpose, praying for those to be ordained, that they would they would harness the, the, the gifts of nature that they have and that God would, would give them what they need for this season. Uh, in a timely way and in a way that's appropriate to, to this land and this time. I love that sense in the poem of, of Johnson uh, watching himself <laughs> eat, eating a curry. I didn't even know they had curry then. And, uh, and, and looking back on this, his free summer, thinking, yeah, I probably, I've done, done what I can do there. And yet at the same time, he's, he's terrified at the onset of winter and wondering what has he got what it takes? And we uh, can really relate to that. We, we may not have a, a free winter ahead of us. We may have a much more restricted season again. And we're wondering, each of us, can, can, I, can I do that? How I got enough in the cupboard to see me through uh, this impending season? Well, my prayer, friends, for you today and for me is that we, we do have enough. Uh, in relation to the land, in relation to each other and to God and that there would be fruitfulness in store for each of us and resilience uh, as we face the changing of the seasons uh, both in our in our life and also of, of the year. So God bless you as you go to ground this day.